I'm Grant Clouton. I'm the general manager of Musclebrook Coal Mine. We've had the Wenko system in play now for about 12 months in full operation. Musclebrook Coal is only a small coal mining operation in the Hunter Valley, New South Wales. The Wenko system here on the mine site is used in multiple pieces of equipment. We have a fleet of Atashi excavators and Atashi haul trucks, but we also do have a fleet of cat dozers. Uh, and also light vehicles, we use the Wenko system in as well. So we cross a whole range of equipment types and equipment brands. It's quite easily and installable in all of those pieces of equipment and readily usable. We were very paper-based operation, very manual, but we felt that there was improvement still to be had. But given the short time frame, we still felt it was important that um, we made improvements and the Wenko system offered a very cost-effective solution for us to get some real-time data that we could analyse and improve our uh, productivity performance of the mine. My name is Jake Hill. I'm the senior engineer at Musclebrook Coal. We use Winco for everything, so primarily data capture, but the real value comes from high precision dozing, digging, drilling, fleet management as well. So allocating resources effectively, highlighting hazards in work areas, and rectifying those hazards. By using the Wenco system, what we've been able to do is really focus in on the payloads for each truck. And we've seen a, an increase in average payload of about five ton per payload. So before we were underloading trucks and the converse overloading trucks, which was causing us problems, but now we're much closer to our target payload. So we've developed effectively a, a zone of which the operators should target. And the operators themselves are now starting to come out back into that zone quite readily. And we notice the curves on our payloads and our haul cycles is very much tighter. And that's all due to the data we've got out of the Wenko system. In one part of our mine, we have a very long haul run. And the problem we normally see there is a lack of trucks. So the digger will be waiting on trucks. Um, in another area of the mine, we have the converse situation where tight work areas mean that the trucks are often waiting because, because it's slow to load the, the trucks. And now, rather than waiting on a supervisor to go and see that firsthand or the digger operators to report on that, then we actually have Wenco to tell us that now. So as a result of using Wenco, we now have a better distribution of trucks around the mine and less weight on trucks and trucks waiting less on loading units. Prior to using Wenco, it was all a paper system and that data would come in after the shift and it would tie up an engineer's time for maybe three, four hours, just getting all that data together. Now it's instantaneous, so we've got a free engineer and we've got the data much faster. So for us, the Wenko system provides a level of safety uh, on top of the production outcomes that we get. Uh, given that safety is imperative um, to the ongoing performance of the mine site, the combination of the system being able to use it for a safety and a production perspective is a benefit that the Wenko system had over many other systems. We have survey of all of the tunnels that have been mined out during the past and we know their approximate location. So what we do is put them into the Wenko system and it allows the equipment operators to navigate around those hazards. The benefits of the Wenko system we found when compared to other systems that we evaluated um, on a cost per cost basis. The Wenko system was very competitive, cheap to install and actually very user friendly. So that's the reason why we went to the Wenko system in such a small operation. The other benefits of the Wenko system is that it is not a, a taxing system on the mine. Um, it's very self-run. We don't need to set up dispatch hubs. Um, there is enough information to ensure that we get the right processes in place to give us the information we need to make good decisions. Whereas other systems that are more cumbersome, um, they take a lot of upkeep, or there's other systems that are really just truck counting systems, electronic truck counting systems. We wanted something in between, and we found that the Wenko system gave us that in-between solution. We can certainly ramp the Wenko system up to be more than what it is, or we can just get it to where we believe we're going to get the most value out of it. Unlike other systems that you've got to take the whole package, uh, the Wenko system is broken up into specific areas where you can actually focus and only pick and choose really what is important to yourselves. 
After a period of three months, then the Wanko system was trialled and proven to be successful, and it was accepted by the operators. We removed our all our paper-based systems of production data capture. But what we've seen so far since the end of 2018 uh, is our payloads have generally increased by three to five tonnes per truck, um, and very consistent. And the other thing we've noticed too is our haul cycles have decreased. There's a clear focus on site around uh, queuing time and spotting time under diggers. So compared to the data we captured in 2018, we've already seen a 10% improvement in 2019 on those key metrics. So for us, that equates to a, a couple of million dollars a year of saving for an investment uh, that was a fraction of that price. The Wanko system, because it was able to be built up or built down and provide exactly what we need, it proved to be the right solution for Musselbrook Coal and it seems to be delivering a good outcome.